Hi, Lo Martinez here with another Ohio University Word on the Street. It's winter in Athens, and as temperatures go down, more students are flocking inside, making them extra susceptible to contracting diseases. Today we're going to be talking to students about one disease of particular concern, meningitis. I don't really know too much about it. I don't know anything about meningitis. Uh, not much. Pretty much nothing, actually. I think it's airborne. I'm not too sure. I've heard about it, but I don't know like the exact causes or the effects of it. I know that meningitis is a bacterial infection that causes inflammation in the uh, spinal column and the cranium. It affects the brain and causes like swelling. Like a really hurt neck, and you can't like bend it forward or backwards. And it's deadly if if it's not caught soon enough. When the outbreak kind of happened last year, I heard a little bit more about it. I have a couple friends um, that I know who know somebody who had it last year. I know a kid down the hall thought he had it. Someone she knew had it, so they took a lot of precautions. Like, a lot of people didn't know anything. They just kind of kept spouting off things about it and rumors, and it was, it was interesting. <laughs> last year, a girl came down with it and was transmitted to uh, Columbus Hospital, and she, where she eventually passed away. And I am pretty sure there was another case, but the person survived. We get like emails all the time about it going around. Um, yeah, there's a lot of posters and things up about it and what to do precautionary-wise. It's more common here than it is other places. I heard about it here and there, but not too much. If I know that I'm sick, I'll try to keep away from other people. If I know they're sick, I'll let them have their rest. It's taking care of myself, washing my hands, um, not touching handrails or using hand sanitizer. I'm kind of a nut about that. I'm drinking a lot of juices in the dining halls. I'm keeping warm, eating healthy, working out. I carry hand sanitizer with me and I use it you know, before I eat anything. But I know it's passed through sharing saliva. Just don't drink out of the same cups as everyone else. It's the best way to do it. Washing my hands, not sharing drinks or anything like that. Seems like there's a lot of mixed awareness and misconceptions when it comes to meningitis among students. So here are a couple of quick facts. Meningitis is actually spread through saliva. Though it is strongly encouraged to be vaccinated, the vaccine does not prevent all strands. Meningitis symptoms are similar to that of the flu and often include a fever or neck stiffness. It can be fatal if it's not caught early on. If you feel you could possibly have meningitis, be sure to visit Oblinus immediately. So hopefully these facts will help keep you and our university meningitis free. With Word on the Street, I'm Lo Martinez. Thank you.